Very often on the channel I get emails from various different companies asking me to look at games and do videos on them in return for sponsorship. I think almost on a weekly basis I get emails from the Raid Shadow Legends developers but it's a game I'm not interested in promoting at all but every so often I get messages from Bluestacks and the great thing about Bluestacks is that they have a wide selection of games so I normally always check them out because I'm looking for ways to support the channel and every so often I get a game I actually enjoy. The last one I covered was Call of Duty and I was addicted to that for a good few months and I did burn myself out but I really loved playing Battle Royale but for today's video we'll be looking at Magic Mana Strike now this is running on the latest version of Bluestacks that's version 4 there is a link to that in the description it's an affiliate link so if you click on it you're supporting the channel if you also like the look of this game and I'm going to show off some gameplay and give you a quick overview but if you like the look of this game make sure to click the affiliate link that's in the description as well to actually download it and once again you will be supporting the channel so if you know magic you know it's all based around different cards i don't know too much about it other than the card and the fantasy aspect but it seems that this is also tied in with a tower defense game of sorts so that really does make it pretty interesting now let me actually show you off a match first and then once we've done that and you can see what the game plays about I'll show you the, the different options that are available on the screen at the moment but let's jump into a match here and I'll, I'll talk you through it as we go through it so here is the game in action here it's essentially 1v1 PvP I'm currently on the left side the opponent will always be on the right we've got our various different cards I better actually start dropping down relatively quick so we can get going while I'm waiting to see if the opponent drops anything doesn't look like they are so I'll drop this card here and you've got your three different turrets which your your enemies or your characters even will attack. I'll drop something down here pretty quickly. And um, we've got our own hero card which we can drop down and they're nice and powerful. So the different units you've got, you've got units that can attack in the air, you've got ones that attack on land. And it's really trying to, to figure out what ones to drop, almost like a, a rock, paper, scissors set up against your opponents and if you can take down one more turret than what they've taken down then you will win the match you don't have to necessarily clear everything it's really quite fast paced as you can probably tell so i'm going to drop down this character down here they're nice at destroying the the turrets let's just give them some support for the first two minutes of the match you can only call in your your hero so many times and your hero's got active skills so we can see this here there we go, they've just done a nice slam there. So damage wise I've almost took down that turret, but not quite. Let's see what they're sending in. So I'll put in a nice defense class here. This one doesn't move. And then from here, let's just drop this in as well. We'll call in some lightning. You'll notice the connection's really spotty in this particular video. I think the game has only been out potentially a few days. So there's a lot of people jumping on it in the moment and the connection's really going. But despite that, you can still definitely get by and, and control your characters well enough. There we go. Slowing down a little bit again there. So let's see. There we go. We can drop in our character. Let's go for it here. We've got an energy that allows us to drop down different cards. So we'll really go for it here feels exceptionally tactical like when to use your cards and what cards you're actually going to use as well so I think there will be a, a huge amount of tactics that are actually involved in it it doesn't necessarily mean people that have got the best cards will go ahead and win and you can create custom decks as well which is something I'm actually show you in a moment I could be in trouble here because they are calling in a whole lot of characters let's call down some lightning this is the last minute of the match where everything really does speed up a fair bit Try and take out this turret up here at the top. Really, has a whole lot going on here. As mentioned, it is really quite fast paced, and at first I, I did struggle and I was thinking, I'm not sure about this. But once you get used to what units you should actually be using, we can see we've got a flying unit, so this one I've just placed. It's pretty nice at taking that down. We can get some energy back match is just a bit done but we're ahead by one turret unless they can take it out so let's drop down some lightning in here uh they're going to take it out three seconds to go this is so unbelievably close i think they're going to take it out does that mean this will be a draw i think it may actually be i think i may have lost this horse but into the last minute sudden death and to be honest i think i am in trouble here when you look at all these characters that are on me and we don't have our planeswalker to call in either 
Can we take them out? Let's see if we can take out... No, I'm going to lose my main base. 40 health left. And there we go, that's us. I thought I was going to win that one there, but it is really pretty tricky and I'm still getting used to the cards. But that is the actual gameplay now. Let me quickly talk you over how it actually plays as well. So it'll make more sense once I, I do that. But you'll see, just to mention in regards to blue stacks, you'll see over here, you've got your, your custom keybinds. So you can see them at the bottom as well. I'll show them off with the mouse cursor. Just where it says tap to continue. And that hovers over each of the cards. So if you want to use the keyboard instead or a combination of keyboard and mouse, you can certainly do that. Finally, if you're following the channel, you probably play Strike Force. So if you actually click on multi instance over here then what you can do is you can have two instances of blue stacks at the same time so you could play this game and in the background you could hit auto and your raids and strike force as well but that's the gameplay let me quickly show you off just the mechanics of the game now mechanics wise here firstly i'll show off where you go up to get your cards they are up here when you win matches you do certain daily events you unlock more cards and once you get duplicates of cards you can look to level up so for example down here I've got enough cards, I've got 4 out of 4 for this character, so I could level them up if I wish. You've got different rarities of cards, you can see you've got your standard brown ones, then you've got your silver, and then you've got your gold as well. So I've got a phoenix there for the gold one. When you click on each of the cards, this is a really nice feature if you're unsure what they do, because there is a lot going on in the game. If you click on preview, it actually shows you the card in action, so you can figure out how it works. So that's nice, so you can figure all that out in the first instance there. Let's go back again. You've got your different planeswalkers that you can actually choose and it gives you five to start off. So you can see certain cards you get are ones that can only be used with certain planeswalkers, whereas other ones are more generic cards that you can use across all of the different characters. So there they are there. Now also, if we go from here, we go into, you've got your, your regular season pass that's available in games such as this. So Working my way through it. Have I got enough for that? Nope, not quite yet, unfortunately. We'll go back once again. I've got a profile here, and again, you can unlock new cards. We've actually got some cards we can unlock here. Let's click on this, see what we've got. There's a new one there. And that's placing a building. So that's interesting, that one. And that's an upgrade for a card I've already got already. So once again, let's go back here. You've got the shop, so when it comes to your different planeswalkers, which is your hero character that's really powerful, then you can buy some via gold. You can get gold from winning matches, or you can purchase it as well. And then there's lots of different ones there, once you actually rank up. Finally, we've got the, the battle mode. I've not unlocked the event just yet, but your battle mode is what you've seen just a moment ago. That is your PvP. So it's an interesting game, and I'm definitely going to put a little bit more time into it. So once again, it is running on the, the latest version of Blue Stanks. There's a link to that and a link to the game in the description below. So if you want to check it out, you want to support the channel, then click on that link. And really, thanks for tuning in for this. Let me know what you think of the game in the comments below, and I'll see you all again soon.